Hi boys and girls, I have our final Curious George book. It's Curious George goes to a costume party. Ooh, raise your hand if you like to wear costumes. Yeah, they're lots of fun, aren't they? Let's find out what happens to George when he goes to a costume party. Curious George goes to a costume party. George, his friend said, Aunt Harriet just invited us to a party. It sounds like fun. Let's go. Aunt Harriet lived in an old house with many rooms and a big attic. Hello, George, she said. I'm so glad you could come. Oh, but where is your costume? I must have gotten to t forgotten to tell your friend that it's a costume party. But I know what you can do. You can make one up. There's lots of things in the attic. And the attic is something you find at the top of your house. George, said the man with the yellow hat, you can go up to the attic, but do not get into trouble. The attic was full of furniture, a mirror, and boxes of old clothes. George found a fireman's hat. He tried it on, but it was too big for him. Next, George tried on a sailor suit. This was too big too. The doorbell rang downstairs. The guests were arriving. George had to find a costume in a hurry. On top of the old dresser was a big white sheet. George was curious. Could he use that? Could he make this into a costume? He reached up and pulled. He pulled and pulled. The sheet came off the dresser. The old lamp came with it. The lamp hit the floor and broke into a hundred pieces. And George was tangled in the sheet. George tried to get out, but the more he tried, the more tangled he became. And then George heard voices coming from downstairs. Did you hear a crash upstairs? George, what are you doing up there? said Aunt Harriet. George was scared. He ran down the stairs. He was still tangled in the sheet. Look, someone shouted. There goes a ghost. George ran faster. And suddenly he tripped on the rug and he flew into the air. George fell to the floor. Stand back, everyone, said Aunt Harriet. Let me take care of this. Now George was trapped. George, it's you, she said. You certainly scared us dressed up like a ghost. George, said his friend, did you break the lamp? Don't mind the lamp, said Aunt Harriet. I never did like it. And she added, George made my party a big success. He should win first prize, somebody shouted. And George did. Was George pretty creative? You bet he was. I hope you do something creative today. Do something fun. I've had so much fun reading Curious George books with you. Until we... See each other again. Have a good day. Love you. Miss you. Bye-bye.